It's a hell. <laughs> what that no, it's not if. What? I mean, no, you're saying that's I correct. Mean, okay, okay. Well, well, there is. It. It's not an if. Now, yeah. Lucifer was an angel in heaven, they got and cast he in. actually uh, tried to be more than God, better than God, and he got cast down. There right. is. You have yeah. to believe, well, I believe that there in is. the demonic spirits uh, in order to say, Jesus died That's for right. our sins. There are. Right. There's, he there's, conquered death. There's facts, I don't want to be there's wrong. There's facts and there's fiction. There's laws, like the law of gravity. Mm -hmm. You know, there's laws. So... It says even if you don't believe, if you don't believe that fire is going to burn you, if you put your hand in it, is it going to burn you? Whether you yeah, believe it's it or not, right. if you don't believe it, it's still going to burn I'm you. I'm too scared that if I don't believe in the Lord, you know, I might die and come back as a billboard. Well, <laughs> I know you right burn now. land on me it's and out. stuff. I can't the scratch sword, I can't I'm understand. You right now. Help the me, sword, help I'm, me. The source you know, of so true I want to believe. The source of true power is God's word. And that's the manual. That manual will give you step-by-step -step instructions on what's happening right now today. It's in the word. It's that's in right. Revelations. If you look in Matthew, it's in Matthew and Mark where it says that there will be earthquakes. There will be even tsunamis. It's in the word. Things are happening yeah. now. So the workmen's are here to tell you, you need to digest and feed your spirit. Take that vitamin, baby, in order, in to order in heaven and you to won't be the saved. And, and do you see what I'm saying, baby? And, and, and you know, this is this little body that we're in right now, everybody know that's a shell. That's right. And, and it's, it's housing our spirit. We're here to learn as much as we can to when we get to the next life, we're going to progress, okay? So if you got all this knowledge here and you're not even attempting to learn and all you're doing is out running around and trying to party and trying to have fun for while you're here, what's going to happen when you get to where you're going? Because everybody knows these bodies, these bodies ain't going to last forever. Yeah. No. These bodies are going to go and our spirit's going to go somewhere that's else. That's it. That's so why you try to do right. That's, that's why right. you try to do right that's and you right. want to be prepared. If, if somebody told you, look, I got a job for you. Tomorrow, all you need to do is you, 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 did you, you know, get a bachelor's degree in this or in that? If you didn't get it, you missed out. So you came here, you lived your life, you didn't learn and didn't get the knowledge you're supposed to get. Sorry for you, your spirit. You might be still in heaven, but you're not going to progress to your fullest. That's and that's right. what you're trying to do is progress to the fullest state of what you came here for. A lot of people don't realize. They think, oh, uh, what's, what is the people you saw me say? You live today, you die, die tomorrow, so we might no. as well live like this and live like that. Well, no. you are going to die. That's it might right. not be tomorrow, but you want to be concerned about what's going to happen after you die. That's right. You want to be concerned. That's about that. the destination. You know, there is a movie, Final Destination. Mm -hmm. You know, our final destination ain't in the ground. And that's for all the viewers, ain't it, baby? That's right. Our final destination is not the ground. Our final destination should be to be where? In Back the in the presence yeah. of the Lord. Yes, we came from the presence of the Lord. We came here to do His will, to feed our souls, to strengthen us, to have better relationships, in order to do what, baby? So God can live through us. That's right. He lives through us. I heard Creflo Dollar say something the other day, and I thought, it was really funny. He said, <laughs> when people ask him where he's from, he said, well, you know, he's from Ohio or wherever it was he was from. But that's not where he's originally from. He said, now he even got to the point to where he started people, I'm from heaven. I live here now, <laughs> but I'm actually from heaven because that's, that's where it. we came from. And we that's want to get back to there, from. you know. So, yeah. Yeah, that's and it, was, it was all natural. It was real. You know, I understand that because, yeah, we all came from heaven. We all are children of God. And all we have to do to get back is believe in him. Now, there's different views on what you can do and, and how all this stuff you got to do. But if you look at it, it's not in your works the reason that you're going back to heaven. It's in your heart and what you truly believe. God don't look at us like we look at everybody. That's right. He, don't, he doesn't judge us because his judgment has already been passed through Jesus Christ. So when he look at us, when we're gone and when we're on the other side, when he looks at us, he looks at Jesus. He looks at us through Jesus, which means if we accepted Jesus in our heart and we became Jesus, we became like Jesus, then when we over to the other side, we will acknowledge him and we will know him. And that's what we're, that's what we're going to be accepting. And you know what Not the Rippers want you to know? Once you have, we've already said you got to, you can get a second chance. Because Jesus died on the cross. You get a second chance? You get a second chance, baby. You get another one. I give my baby another one over there. You guys can get a second chance. 
Once yeah. you accept that second chance, once you nourish your spirit with what, baby? The Word. With the Word. The Word, the word is the vitamin. The Word is our food. Word up. The Word is our water. Everybody so, say. Word. <laughs> he is selling. But I'm, I'm just saying, the, the Word. word Fill yourself <laughs> up with the Word. Right. You know, they say, word yeah, you look word up. That's it. I'm telling it's you. You got to be word. full of the Word. <laughs> Being full of and the word, that's word, when word you plant up. that seed in your heart. Now, that allows Jesus Christ-like to grow in you. That should be everybody's daily task. Okay. Daily. Hear the word, see the word, speak the word. Plants a seed in your heart. And it's so important that you get God's word. No other that's man. Right. God's that's right. word. Do you see what I'm saying? Having God's word in your life, planting that seed, you are entitled to blessings here on earth. You are entitled to happiness, peace, joy, love. What other things, baby? Come on, y'all know. What other things? We inherited Jesus' kingdom. We inherited the royalty of Jesus. That's right. That's why right he said the on just earth. That's why we're supposed to live with the earth. I said it, I said it, the just shall live by faith. And let me say this. Uh -huh. Now, when you read Romans 1.17, Galatians 3.11, 10, Hebrews 10.38, what you read, You were just talking about that, and I was what looking you at read, the last buddy? verse in Proverbs 3. What you read? It says, the wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall come to the, pro to the promotion of fools. Okay. Fools. Uh -oh. So if you wise uh -oh. enough to know that you need to just wise up, because shame is going to come to you if you ain't well, trying to learn. We say that. word up over here. Uh -huh. well, right. The more yeah, word you right. get in here, you, you got to get word up. Because the more in. word in you, I believe that's what it the is. more Christ-like grows in you. And the more the Christ-like God grows in you, He lives through you. He shines through Your belly you. Should so that's going to help me. Living, or, what is it, a river? A river of living water? That's it. That's what happens that's when it. you just Faith work. without work is dead. It takes daily work to build faith. So if faith, if, if you get faith from God's Word, then you put daily work into that Word and watch that seed. Grow to the abundance where your cup will do what, baby? Run it over. Say it again, baby. Mm, Say it again. It your cup will I run it over. I had to look down there because I thought my cup was running. If I don't keep drinking, if I don't keep drinking, I'm just saying it's running over. I'm it's just, just going to run over. Yeah, I'm, I'm just done. saying. <laughs> there is a prescription for the way you live. Okay. And that prescription, I'm gonna show you here. This is my baby's big quad, y'all. It's a big quad. One. That's got it. Right here. Here. Hold Hold on. Got he it right got here. it on high tech. <laughs> and I just want to show y'all my big quad. We do a lot of studying, y'all. That's, That's what it's called a quad. I'm just saying. Now, but I'm telling you. And I love it too because they give these great study sheets. Well, <laughs> you can always well go I'm over just saying. What, that, you need, what we just it, showed you. you know? We got other books, and I do want to touch bases on this. What we just showed you is the prescription for the way you can live. Now, the hardest thing you can do, baby, is. Ooh, I just found something. Uh oh, there you go, there you go. <laughs> Happy is the man that findeth wisdom. See? And the man that getteth understanding. Ooh, Lord. That's in Proverbs, right? Yeah, Proverbs. Okay. I think because we should I've just been stay studying. in Proverbs. Thank you. I think we should just because, stay in Because, you know, Proverbs. I know a lot of y'all out there, and y'all know y'all dealing with mm -hmm. cousin patches. And as much, here you go, as much as I would love to say, what would Jesus do? Sometimes, deep down inside, you know, well, you know, I am not Jesus. And sometimes, you know, it's so hard. So, you know, yes, to find my inner Jesus when, you know, sometimes I just want to kind of blow. Jesus is in so, all of us. It is. It is in all of us. My baby says but, it all the time. Let go and let God. Let That's God it. and let God. That's yeah. it. So, but as a couple, I wanted to ask y'all because, you know, sometimes it is hard always to have that loving, beautiful view. You know, uh, I'm, my other channel we've been dealing with um, uh, betrayals of relationships. Or, uh, you know, or you may have got that uh, phone call by the person that, you know, you didn't really want to call in your house. Like the other woman or that other 
that other everybody had lies yeah, before they met you each know? other. There's always something that's that significant come back other is getting yeah. these extra ugly phone calls. Yeah. 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 It's very hard when you find out these things to go to your mate with that. Well, what would Jesus do and be like, you know, honey, you know, I pull these words of my ass. What? It's so it's hard. Like and all you want to do is like scream, scream, scream. No. How do you handle no. that? No. You build you know? up, just like my baby said earlier, you, you build that? up the love inside of yourself. Like when people, when you guys see us and when you see us, I bet most people think they can't be that much in love. They just got to be putting on a show. This is not a no, show. Always happy. This is I not a like show that. because we no. really truly love each other. And the it's only right. way we got to the point to where we could really truly love each other is loving ourselves. You have to love yourself before you can love each other. I if you're see, not yeah. ready, if you don't have faith in you, can't nobody put it but in you. What, what if is you love? love yourself, God is love. You can't go back to the word. word to give love God is love. Don't love now, so I'm that so is a saying. No, it's a saying being equally yoked. There we go. Now, being equally, equally yoked. Equally and, and, yoked. And, and I'm saying this to be equally yoked in a relationship means that, okay? Give a little, take a little. That's all I'm trying and, to do. I'm trying to get to the Hold equally on. yoked. Yeah. Yes. 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 But I'm just saying to, me to be equally yoked, equally yoked mm -hmm. means spiritually you connect. Now, when you spiritually connect, when you physically connect, when you emotionally connect, you form a relationship. And okay? First of all, my that. husband was right. Because if you don't have it in you, it's not possible to give. And a lot of people don't know how to even receive. Correct, baby? That's right. That's right. But I'm I just mean, saying, when it comes down to being equally yoked. Now, I was married before, 15 years. I was not equally yoked. Regardless on the mm -hmm. uh, uh, belief in, in no divorce and, and, and the constant, you know, wanting to help that yeah. situation, that wasn't what God had intended for me. Mm. What God has intended for you will give you the patience and the understanding to show you know, consideration. You got to have some patience Hold to on. deal with me. So I've got to have hey, some patience. I love deal you, patience. <laughs> No, and now I'm just saying. saying no, but listen, I'm being honest. To get, honest, to that even to get yoked equally today, yoked, you be able to communicate. You already better. have patience that and understanding. I'm gonna tell you I'm the not, best way to get equally yoked. That's is what. That is what it is. Pray together. There you go. Read your scriptures together. My baby and I, we don't. We we both work all the time, so we don't always have the time to sit down and read our scriptures together. But one thing we do do is we do a daily reading. She sends me what she's read and what she's done, and I, I get my little email. Either if I can't get to it and read it, I listen to it. And then what we do every morning. And you, you pray every morning. Every day. And you should pray every night. Most every day. I get in here, my baby's asleep. Right. But you, you want to two pray times in the morning, morning. And if you can, you. get together in the afternoon, in the middle pray of the day. Pray in the noon day. In the you day wake up praying, and, pray and you say a scripture in the noon day. It can be a scripture. It can be a word. It can be the, 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 the gospels, the music. Just pray. Keep God. Stay in the presence of God and at all times. And, that's, and that's, that's how you relate better. And that's how I'll like be like able to show my you know, know what Jesus before, is going to say. <laughs> you, I want to show you know, that more. A lot of times you, know? you have to think before you speak. I love him with all yeah. of my organs. I don't even know and how to think before I speak. I've been oh, trying. I'm working on it. Oh, you learning. You learning, baby. You learning, baby. It just come out. It just come out. It just just come out. you like, what did you say? Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I'm saying to myself, what did I say? I yeah. say he don't know. He don't know. 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 But what he, do, what he I does know, he consider my feelings in all things. I consider his feelings in all things. I'm not going to do, say, or anything to hurt my husband. And my husband the biggest ass, the will biggest not ass do, ass say, or anything to hurt me. See, I the thought problems. he was going to say something else, and I was going to say, this is the gospel child. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest asset that you can have is being able to learn from your mistakes. If you can't learn from just your mistakes, if you can watch somebody else's mistakes and learn from them too, that's even better. That's even better. But if you, can better. Learn, if you can learn from your own mistakes, because I know plenty of times my baby just, just she done looked at me and she done said something, and I'm thinking, oh, Lord. How did I let that happen? Or uh, what? What? I what was I thinking? I to do this, but baby. I try not to do it again. Yeah. It ain't. I don't I ain't do it yet. because my, <laughs> you know, my baby. I, I love my baby to death. I do, and I I want to keep her happy because I know if she's happy, I'm gonna be happy. 
So that's why. And it ain't just for her. It's for it's for that's what right. we stand for. That's right. We got into this relationship knowing that we are planning to be together for eternity. Not just so now. who's the head of our life. We plan on God. That's our boss. God is the head of our That's life. who we work for. We, we work for Jesus. For Jesus. We get our we get our we day. work for we Jesus. The stuff we there you go. Day, we get it through Him. That's we, right. He He provides for us, and we try to just be vessels that He can speak through and get out, get His word out to people. See, I've gotten we, all excited. We are not mentors. I got a whole lot of good stuff today. We are not mentors. We That's are not preaching. We are all we do is if we see a chance to talk to somebody and to we lift them up a little bit. We want to be cheerleaders. We want to we help them get anointed to anointed be. because we got. Everybody's anointed, baby. Everybody's anointed. What they do what with that anointing, is, what they do with now, that anointing is something different. But everybody's what we doing, anointed. You got that right, baby. Everybody's anointed. What we doing is letting the word live through us by telling it, telling it. There's not one person that I'm not going to say, Jesus love you. Speak it into existence. I, here, it into here, existence. read this. Yeah, this will right, help you, yeah. you know. And one thing that I wanted to touch on, because I touched on it today, you know, you would be surprised. This is a really old, old book. You would be surprised that a lot of individuals don't know how to pray. It's amazing how and prayer is communication with who, baby? Tell them, baby. Come on now. Prayer is a communication with who? The with Lord. Lord. Who? With who? The who? Lord. Everybody. Jesus, Jesus, I talk to Lord, Jesus and father. talk to the Lord like he's my father. daddy. I call him, talk to him like he I talk on his telephone. He, <laughs> well, he, well, is, he my is your daddy. So that's how I talk to him. And that's you know? how you so should. So that's how I pray to him. Because when I talk to him, I'm like, Lord. That's how you should. Lord, that's how you should. Give me the strength today. You should know him. I walk around. She talked to him. It says, "Doth not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice?" Ow. And all that's saying I mean, is exactly, exactly what right. she just said. So whether you think you got it right or you know enough, let it out. Just say it. Just say, it. say, it, say it to God. You say it to God. People to say it. Positive influences in your life. You always want to have. Say back. I'm crazy. They be like, who you talking to, Patrick? I be like, Lord, I'm talking to my Lord. <laughs> Lord, I'm talking to and my see, Lord. You know, you I'm gonna tell you something. Now, when you start talking to the Lord, you also have to listen. Listen. And what are you listening to, baby? Tell them, baby. You know what? It's, it's really weird because a lot of people, when they talk to the Lord, they want to hear some big, loud revelation. Yeah. They want to see the clouds and thunder. And <laughs> My child, but what you, you have must to, repent. What yeah. you must what, what, what you have to listen for <laughs> is it's a still, small voice. And the way to get in tune with it is by being quiet and trying to hear that inner voice. Because most of the time when he's speaking to you, he's speaking to you from inside of you. I mean, yeah, he, tells from us, your gut. he tells us we got that's Jesus, it. we got it's Jesus from my gut. in us. So, so it ain't going to be, you know, right. yeah, I it's feel not going to be a big, right. loud, audible voice coming from it's here. Not it's not going to be mm -hmm. something. Or it's gonna be You're a gonna feeling. know whether it's right. It's not right. wrong. Right. It's gonna be a feeling. It may even start. The Lord don't make, make you confused. You warm. You know, yeah. <laughs> God is a God that cannot lie. And it is so easy. That's the one thing to he ignore. cannot do. It is so easy to ignore. It, 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 and it says here, it says, Here, for I will speak excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. So, just like my God is said, a God that cannot you lie. You are speaking it. You are speaking. When you start speaking. Uh, positive things to people, it's going to bring positive things into your life. It you can't do anything but, because you're not only speaking it to them so that they can hear it, but you're speaking it into existence for yourself. That's right. I heard my baby say plenty of times on the so that she done spoke into existence. Woo! I, I, I can't speak, wait till that stuff gets I do that all the time. Speak it right into existence. That's you what you do. Speak it right into existence. But I do want to say to my, I want for you guys to know, just so y'all won't be confused, the Lord isn't confusing. So that little voice that tells you, maybe I should, maybe I don't, that ain't him talking. No, that's definitely that's not, not him. him. 
You know, I don't and know what they to you. You gonna you gonna be for sure. You know your decision. You gonna be like, oh, know. this ain't right. So the Lord said, I need not to go down you this dark know. alley. Or you know, oh, this feels so right and sad. This is the right one for me. You gonna be for sure, for certain. 